it's retest time. So as some of you know, I got my blood results tested with Inside Tracker. They are a uh, blood testing service primarily for athletes. And I got my results back and they weren't super stellar. You can go check that video out if you want to see the OG original results. And so I've retested. I've been doing a few things that I'll talk about in just a second to get some of those biomarkers up into the optimized zone. And I want to share with you all of the things that I've been doing and the things that I probably shouldn't have been doing and what I'm going to be doing going forward to continue to get these biomarkers up and into their optimized zones. The two biomarkers I primarily looked at last time were my ferritin, iron levels, and magnesium. I had super, 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 super low ferritin, so that was like a huge like eye-opening experience, like, oh my god, I really need to fix this. Now, yes, with the plan that I got, there are 42 biomarkers that you can look at, but honestly, with nutrition, you really can't do everything all at once. I really tried to look at the two highest priority and get those solved or kind of get them on the right track before I can start to fix the other things that are like slightly in the like not optimized zone, the needs work. So those are the two that are really focused on the past few months. So for the magnesium, the first thing that I did is go out and get a supplement, one of the ones that they recommended, and I've been taking them daily. But I also started adding in more spinach to my daily smoothies, more peanut butter, which like you don't have to force me there, along with some pumpkin seeds. And adding in a lot more beans, which is also helpful for your iron levels as well. So like pull in double duty there. And I saw that it's working. My magnesium levels started to go up. I am now in the optimized zone. So like that was a huge win and like a, okay, we're on the right track sort of feeling going into this test. But Iron, on the other hand, she, she is a fickle beast and I had some issues there. And if you're wondering all about Iron and like why I care so much about it, I did actually do an entire video around Iron and Ferritin specifically for the female athlete and you can go check that out. It has a ton of information and I used a lot of that information making that video for myself and going into my nutrition. I just did a few things that were silly and wrong and I'm, I'm gonna own up to them right now on camera. So as I was pulling up my results, my ferritin levels, they were higher. I was like, great, I wanted them to be higher because they were extremely low. And I believe they did go out of the, um, the red category into the yellow, which means like, okay, doing the right things. And I was like, yeah, great. The supplements that I bought, working. Awesome, love to see it. We're heading in the right direction. I was taking one uh, of these, Ferrisol. Uh, they are the ferritin iron pills supplements. Uh, and I was taking one every single day and you're supposed to take it with vitamin C to help with absorption. And you're supposed to take it a good while before you have any caffeine or dairy, which is like generally my breakfast types of foods. So I was doing that and I was like, okay, cool. We were working towards this. And then I see my iron has just skyrocketed almost into the needs work I can't remember but it just like blew up bad in the wrong direction and I was like oh my god did I eat too many beans that can't be right because I wasn't just like eating cans of beans every single day and spinach and all those things if I would have just read what was on my screen I'm pointing at my computer it's right here in front of me and right there on the page it said they they offered up a supplement this is the correct brand but all I did was just be like, that's the brand, cool, click in my cart, I bought it immediately. But what I did not look at was like the, the serving size, like the amount of milligrams, right? Like how concentrated it was. Start taking a 14 milligram iron supplement to help improve your levels. You know what this says? I don't know if you can read that, 65. This is way too high of a dosage, so. That's done, I'm not taking that anymore. That's just way too much. I did not need that much iron. So, one of the other things I learned, yes, great, definitely taking it with the vitamin C, so I'm taking it with a glass of orange juice, but they do suggest on here, uh, it was a few hours before you consume dairy or caffeine to help optimize the absorption. I was doing about 45 minutes, which, according to this, is not the best thing. But for me, that's about all the time that I can do in the morning. I get so hungry for breakfast as soon as I wake up. So I'm not about to wake up at like 3 a.m., have a glass of orange juice and my iron, and then like go back to bed. Because you do also have to do it on an empty stomach. 
So what I'm thinking is I have dinner around that seven to eight category PM, most likely eight. So, and we go to bed around 10. So I'm going to take it right before bed with vitamin C. So that is the new plan going forward. I do not have the newest supplements in because I just started going over these results and realized that was what was wrong. So I'm going to look back here at the inside tracker and go back and make sure that I'm looking at the right dosage. So make sure it's also the correct dosage for you. So I am going to continue with my magnesium because that seems to be going in the right direction. I'm gonna rework my iron strategy plan. And then there were two other biomarkers that were like, okay, but now that I kind of have a broader sense or a better sense of what I'm supposed to be doing with those two biomarkers that were in the red, um, I'm going to be looking at my B12. It's not bad, but it could be better. And your B12 is more whole wheat, whole grain type situation. And that is generally the bread that we do consume at the house, but I'm going to be a little bit more vigilant about having that present and trying to do it on the daily, getting those whole wheats in. The other biomarker was my vitamin D. Now, if we're looking at it, it's in the green. You're like, why are you concerned about it? As you can see, it's at the lower portion here of the optimized zone, but I, I'm a female athlete and who is not getting any younger? Let's just put that on the table, right? And your vitamin D is crucial to your bone health and energy. And we all know for women, as we start to get older, we are more susceptible to getting osteoporosis, um, any bone deterioration. So I wanna make sure that starting now, I am really making sure that that is up higher in the optimized zone to really protect me going forward because I am an athlete. I do high impact activities. So this means I get to have more eggs with cheese, more cereals with milk. Yes, real milk, like from a cow, like real milk. Ah. I'm not gonna feel bad about having it because it's obviously what I need more of to protect me as a female and an athlete. So we're definitely gonna be doubling down on the milk and the ice cream this summer. So this is why it's so important to not just test once, take those results for exactly what they are. You wanna test multiple times throughout your training cycle, throughout your females, your cycle cycle, when you're resting, when you're recovering, because you know, there's so many different things that can affect your biomarkers, right? If you had a really hard workout the day before, that might have some influence over your results. So you really wanna see where your biomarkers are trending and then start to take some measures from there. Obviously, if they're in that needs work category, that's just something that you wanna kinda of hit that immediately, but you really wanna be able to see those trends and how your body naturally fluctuates throughout the year. So definitely wanna take those multiple tests and if you wanna learn more about it, you can check the link down in the description below all the information you need is right at your fingertips. So be sure and check that out. I will keep you guys updated on what's going on and so that you can hopefully learn from some of my mistakes and learn a little bit more about yourselves as well. I will see you guys later.